Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm going to be installing the intake manifold on a Mercruiser 4.3 liter V6. The uh, intake manifold is cast iron. It's been cleaned up. I had to scrape all the old gasket material off this surface, off this surface here, all off the here, and then all down here. Um, that is scraped good. It just doesn't look like it. But anyway, so... Um, well, you know what? I may, I'm gonna hit that with the scraper again. Anyway, I'll keep on with the video. I've got a handheld scraper right there. Um, so what I do is uh, I put silicone sealant around all water ports and then down to about right here. And then you put a big thick bead across here and then dup duplicate the same over here. And then you put a bead around or a film around the water port, around the water port, and then a thick bead across here. Um, there's no they don't use end seals anymore on these blocks. There used to be a rubber seal that would fit here, but now you just use silicone, about a quarter inch bead of silicone. And then uh, what I'm gonna be doing is using these uh, plastic gaskets. They have a little dowel. There's a dowel there and a dowel there. And those dowels fit in that hole right there and right there. So when you place the gasket on here, so we get it to fit right there and right there. So you want the silicone just under this part. Well, I, I put it around the water port, but I don't. I do not put it around the end, these ports here. Um, the factory. This is a Philpro gasket. It's got a rubber bead around it, and that's sufficient to seal up the uh, the intake ports between cylinders and so forth. So what I'm about to do is put the silicone on here. Well, first I'm going to re-scrape that gasket, uh, scrape that intake a little bit more, and get some of that gasket material off. But then I'll put the silicone in here, place the plastic gaskets, and then when I get the gaskets in there, smear another, smear, smear some more silicone around here, down to here, same over there, and then put the gasket on the gasket on this side and do the same, and then you lower the intake manifold down on it and tighten your bolts down, and I'll, I'll show you how to I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, as I said, I put silicone seal it around the uh, water ports down to the uh, this point here. I don't put the bead on yet, but I wait, I wait until I get my plastic gasket on first. But I do, I do thicken it up right here in the corner so the plastic gasket has a little something to bit into. And then I'll do the same on this corner and the same on that corner. So I just circle the water ports with silicone. This is gray silicone sealant. And uh, um, so I'm about to put the plastic gaskets on. And let me see. If, so there's your dowel there. So let me see if I get this on here. Sorry, my camera skills are not good with one hand. So, all right, so now I've got a plastic gasket here. And the dowels are, look so. This, this, the end of this is now embedded in some silicone and the same with that end. See how it's bulging out there? I kind of wanted that to happen on this end too, but I'll, I'll smear some back up. I'll hold this out and smear it up under there in a minute. So anyway, I've got the plastic gasket on that side. I'm about to put it on this side. Now you might be asking why I'm using plastic gaskets when I was raving about how bad they were. Well, this is a marine engine. It'll never see dex cool. It'll never see any kind of antifreeze, period. Uh, at least not automotive antifreeze anyway. Um, so these, I've never seen any evidence that these plastic gaskets are harmed by straight water. Um, so I, I'm fine with using them in, this, in marine applications. I've torn apart numerous marine Vortec applications and the gaskets were fine. So they're only damaged by dex cool. And uh, that's all over the internet, that's a proven fact. So I'm about to put the gasket on this side, and then once I do that, I'll smear silicone on this side of the gasket, just like I did on the under each side. And then once once I get the get silicone smeared on the gaskets, I'll place the intake manifold in place, and I'll show you that um, when I get to that point. Okay, the intake manifold is about to go on. As I said, I, I smear silicone around all the water ports on all four corners. I put a uh, try to put about at least a quarter inch bead, maybe three sixteenths. I don't know. Um, it needs to be fairly thick across the uh, ends of the block. Again, and then right here, you want to be careful not to get any silicone in this hole right here. I probably should have put a plug in there to uh, keep it out of there. But if it does get in there, I wait till it dries and then pull it back out or dig it out with a pick or something. But anyway. About to set the intake manifold down on here and uh, torque it down. And there's a specific uh, procedure you're supposed to torque those bolts down. 
but I'll tell you in, uh, in the next segment. Okay, I've now lowered the intake manifold down in place and I just did it by eye. I didn't have any guides or anything to do it with. Um, so you can see it's squishing out the uh, silicone seal on this end and it's doing the same on the other end. Um, some people put studs in these corners uh, as, as guides to help guide the intake manifold down straight on top of the uh, gaskets. Um, I, I did it okay, I think, just by eyeballing it. But if you're a beginner at doing this, it's your first time, I'd recommend putting a, I think it's an eight millimeter bolt, not sure, but an eight millimeter stud here and here and maybe the back corners too, at least two. Maybe one here and one in the diagonal back corner so you can guide this thing straight down onto the gasket. So let me get these bolts in and torque this thing down quickly before it dries. There's, by the way, this is a Vortec head, so it's only got eight bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how you tell a Vortec compared to an old style. The old style would have 12 bolts. It had two more here and two more there. You, don't, you do not want that kind of engine. Vortec heads are, the, are superior to other heads. So let me get this thing torqued down, and I'll show you when it's done. All right, the intake manifold is now installed, and all the bolts are torqued down to the proper torque in the proper sequence. So I'm about to tell you what that is. So as I showed you but last time, I put silicone beads across the end and you can see the uh, intake squeezed down pretty good. So the silicone is bulging out. That's what you want. You want a little bit of it to squeeze out to let you know that you uh, had sufficient bead and it, and it pressed it and squeezed it out. So that's a good sign. So that's the back and on the front. Same thing. You want to see that it pushed the bead out. You don't want to touch it right now. It's still wet. It'll harden. If you want to cut it off with a knife after it dries, you can, but I usually leave it like that as a sign that it was a good seal. So the fact that it bulged out is, a, is a, tells you that you uh, had a sufficient bead and it got pressed out. So, and you see how it's squeezed out between the, on the water jackets too, there and there. All right. So to install the intake manifold, as I was saying, you can use studs to help guide it in place. I didn't. I just set it down. Well, I had this, once I had it in place, I had to shift it back probably a, maybe an eighth of an inch backwards because I, I didn't put it on right. So I, I recommend using studs. Even for me, I've been doing this for a long time. I got it, I put it down in the wrong spot. So I had to move it back just a little bit, not very far, but maybe in, somewhere between a, a tenth and an eighth of an inch. So what you do is I put blue Loctite, the bottom right there. I put blue Loctite on all the threads of these bolts. To, as a sealant to keep oil from coming up out of them. But you put them in and the sequence is, you tighten them up in this sequence. One, two, three, this is the back of the engine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the sequence, all right? So that's your sequence, and you do it in three stages. The first stage is 27 inch pounds, and I've got an inch pound torque wrench right there. I just finished doing this. So the first sequence is 27 inch pounds. You go through and tighten all eight bolts in the sequence I just showed you to 27 inch pounds. Then you raise your torque wrench to 106 inch, pound, inch pounds, and do the same sequence again. Tighten them again, 106. Then the final pass is at 11 foot pounds, which you multiply by 12, that's 132 inch pounds. So you adjust your torque wrench from 106 to 132 inch pounds, and you go through the sequence one last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So once you do the third pass, it's done, and that's where we're at now. So this intake manifold is now installed. And um, the next thing I'm gonna do is um, Review some of my older videos and, and figure out what to put in next. Um, I don't know if I should put on the uh, harness next or put the distributor in next. Um, I think I'll put the harness on and see how that goes. And then uh, then I'll get the distributor, distributor installed. And uh, by the way, the distributor, the oil pump is driven by this shaft right here. This goes down, engages with the oil pump, and I better make sure I don't drop this or I'll be in deep trouble. Um, matter of fact, that might be a problem. I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. So I can't, if I drop it and miss it and it goes down the engine, I'm screwed. I'd have to take the oil pan back off to get it out. So I got to be very careful how I do this. Um, I never really seen one like this. This collar goes around the oil pump and that engages that uh, screwdriver device kind of 
So you can focus on it. Yeah, that slides down to the oil pump, and then your distributor slides into here. Um, but uh, it's going to be interesting to get that down in there. So I may do that right now and see if I can figure that out. But the intake manifold is now on. And uh, in hindsight, I wish I'd put this on first before I put that intake manifold. It would have been a lot easier. But anyway, um, it's coming right along. And uh, the uh, I'm going to put, like I said, the either distributor or the harness next, depending on uh, what my videos tell me. Thanks for watching.